Hey everyone, this is Om from Civil Center and welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with a vision to guide civil engineering students and professional. And for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So all of you know that we have started this series in Tecla Structures where we are working on a steel structure and we have done most of the parts and now we are learning how we can modify the general arrangement drawings in that uh, we have done a lot of things like view properties we have covered marks we have covered then the objects we are covering right now so in this we have covered the part bolt neighbor parts and all the things and in the last session we have talked about the reinforcement like how you can modify the reinforcement in a general arrangement drawings and what are the different ways of representing the reinforcement in that so today we will discuss about the grid lines okay so you can see we have this grid line over here in our general arrangement drawing so let's see what are the different modifications that we can do in our grid line okay so you can see this grid line is pink in color and if you want to modify it then first thing that you can do with it is you want to make it visual then you can just keep it like this if you want to hide the grid lines then click on the not visual and click on modify and you will see that these grid lines are gone now if you want just the labels and not the grid lines then you can go with only grid labels visual option and you can see this will give you result like the labels are visible and grid lines are hidden over here now one more thing that can be done over here we can just make it visible and you will see that the labels are present on this side and on this side okay so if you will zoom over here then you can see the labels over here but we are not looking at any kind of levels at this portion so these are also the grid lines and there is no level at the back too okay so for that what we can do we can simply go ahead and check these boxes so if we'll check these small boxes under the text placing then you will have to click on modify and you will get the levels at these boxes also okay but i don't want to make this drawing complex so i will just keep it unchecked okay now the same thing can be done with the color of the grid lines it can be easily modified from here suppose you want to go with the green color and instead of this type of line you want to go with the dotted line then you can simply go ahead and modify that also and you will see that you have now a green color grid line with dotted format okay so next thing is the color of the text so if you want to change the color of the text you want to make it red or blue so let's uh, keep it this dark yellow okay like the golden one and you want to change the size also let's make it 10 okay now click on apply or you can say modify and this will be modified in your drawing okay so like this it can be modified but i like the previous version so i will just go with the previous version of all these things because that's my personal selection and you can go with the any of the color that is according to your requirement and any of the font size now we have uh, this, uh, discussed about the height of the font now let's see what we can do with the type of the font so type of the font can also be changed you can go with like this type of um, blue we are selecting over here and we can also go with the size of the font okay because all uh, the font sizes or types cannot be modified for each and every size that is given over here so over here it is asking for 12 so i am going with the 12 at this place okay now let's click on modify and you will see this will be modified according to our requirement now the next thing is the frame so you can go with any of the frame that is be desired by you okay so like uh, i want to go with this frame then i can go with this frame okay now let's uh, bring it back to the usual that i like okay so i like the aerial with uh, uh, font size 12 over here next is okay and over here i would like to have a circular view okay so i can just click on modify over here now you can see in this drawing we are doing a lot of modification i don't want to save it okay so i can just save it from here i can name it like uh, say 3d view one okay 
So 3D view one, I am going to save it with this name. So now if I want to generate a drawing with these specifications, this will be automatically generated over here. Okay, guys. So in this session, we have learned about how to play with the grid lines while we are talking about the general arrangement drawings. In the next session, we will come up with a different topic. Okay. Till then, take care and like this video, hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. If you want to join our professional training, then you will see a number on the screen. All you have to do is to just go ahead and WhatsApp or call on that number and I will be there to help you out. Thank you.